Wow, what a year 2020 has been. Probably the craziest year of my life. Let's talk about it. But what's up guys, welcome back. If you have been here for a while, you will know that last year I put out a video a recapping 2019 before we were heading into 2020. So this is what this video is gonna be. It's gonna be a recap of 2020 of my time here on YouTube during 2020. We're gonna talk about some things that happened, some of the videos, some of the experiences that I had. And then we'll be looking forward to what's gonna be happening in 2021. 2020 was really my second year here on YouTube. The second year where I uploaded consistently. Um, before 2019, I just put out some random videos when I would go to concerts, a couple of videos here and there, nothing consistent, nothing that I really took seriously until 2019. And so here in 2020 is my second year and I really felt like I got comfortable with YouTube and really got into the groove of things. And some people would say that 2020 was the worst year that they've ever experienced and uh, you know, I can't really argue with that. Um, January 2020 actually started pretty good and then after that it just started going downhill. So this past year I really wasn't able to upload as many videos as I wanted to. Um, back in 2019 I think I uploaded close to 150 videos. This year I wasn't able to get close to that mark um, mainly but for a few for a few reasons. Um, at the beginning of 2020 I was doing an internship on top of a job on top of uh, going to school so it was really hard to try to find time to make videos for you guys and then at the end of the year of course back in September I tore my ACL then in October I had surgery and then another surgery in the beginning of December it was kind of hard to make some time to film for you guys and I feel like uh, at the beginning of this year I wanted to get a little bit more creative with my videos uh, not really trying to just go around the parks and just blog what I'm doing but actually like kind of tell a narrative within the videos and that's what I started to do at the beginning of the year in January where I call it the first timers guide to Disney World um, I've already put out a couple of these videos I think three of these videos and my first one was back in January and it was of course at my favorite theme park Animal Kingdom and according to the comments and the messages that people have sent me regarding this video and the other videos I think that they have really helped out first timers when they are trying to go to Disney World. So first things first here at the Animal Kingdom this park was actually open on April 22nd 1998 on Earth Day and of course in the front of the park right here is where you can buy all of your theme park tickets and then we head on in to the front gates of Animal Kingdom. Also in January it was my very first experience with the Epcot International Festival of the Arts and actually this festival became one of my favorite festivals at Epcot. Probably my second favorite behind the Flower and Garden Festival. I just like Flower and Garden uh, better because of the scenery, all the flowers and the topiaries around Epcot, it makes it look amazing. I love looking at all the different uh, artists work and walking around Epcot seeing everything that they have. And the food is really cool that they have for this festival. And we have to go paint five of these number six squares over here. So you come over here and look for your number. Oh, here's number six. There is my contribution. So this whole mural will be completed today at five o'clock. So later on when we're exiting, we'll come see what we painted. Then a couple months later in March, I was able to get to do something really cool. Um, the highly anticipated Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opened at Disney's Hollywood Studios and I was actually able to preview this attraction before it opened to regular guests. So I just got out of the preview of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and I'm not gonna say much about the ride. I want you guys to experience it. I'm not gonna say anything that was in there, nothing about that. But all I can say is that it is an amazing ride. The use of the new technology is really, really good. You guys are gonna love this ride. I think it's a worthy replacement of the great movie ride. One of my favorite rides of all time over here at Disney World. I think it's a great replacement for that ride. And I think it's a great first ride for Mickey and Minnie, their very first ride ever. Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway, two thumbs up. I can't wait for you guys to experience it on March 4th. And hopefully into 2021, I'll be able to do these special previews as well. Maybe for like Ratatouille, Remy's Adventure over at Epcot, and maybe some other things that open up 
during 2021. Hopefully Tron, maybe uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, who knows? One of the things that I really did differently this year compared to last year was when I was at the parks, I tried to take my time a little bit more and kind of just look around the parks and look at all the architecture and everything that these Imagineers really tried to do to make these parks to make these parks set themselves apart from other theme parks around the world. And one of these really cool experiences that I had was at Animal Kingdom, where I literally spent an hour around the Tree of Life just looking at all the carvings. I, I tried to find them all. There's like hundreds of carvings on that tree. But if you do get the chance, I would suggest look at these carvings. And while you're at the parks, take your time and look at all the special little things that these parks have to offer. Even if you guys don't wanna play the game on the app, you guys can just walk over here to the Tree of Life and take a look at all of the carving because there's so many animals to find, hundreds. So we just finished our exploration around the Tree of Life. We found so many animals that I never knew were on this tree. I knew a lot of animals because I come back over here to this spot a lot, every, pretty much every time I'm here at Animal Kingdom, but it actually showed me animals that I never ever knew were here. And just around this time was when everything started to get real crazy, like with the world. Um, coronavirus was confirmed to be in America and we really didn't know what was going on and then we got the announcement that Disney World and the theme parks in Orlando will be closing for two weeks so we thought that just like they would be closed for two weeks and then after that we just get back to normal but of course it didn't turn out that way and we really didn't even know what was going to be happening like everything was so uncertain we didn't know what this virus really was we didn't know how long everything would be closed down we didn't know when we'd be getting back to normal and look at us now we really don't know when things are going to get back to 100 percent normal so with the theme parks being closed i really had to get creative with the certain types of videos that i was putting out on youtube i did a workout video i did a video talking about how coronavirus might affect disney world in the future and i did a video where i went driving around disney world when it was completely empty there was nobody on the road uh, you were allowed to go drive around there was nothing wrong with driving around um, but it was so weird just driving around this place where there's usually cars everywhere and there was literally nobody there very very strange to see the roadways like this I, i've never seen this before this is the first time i've been back on disney world property since uh, everything closed. When I did that video, I got a little bit of hate from people. I don't really know why. Like, I was just in my car driving. I didn't see anybody. I didn't, like, do anything to interact with people. But people were like, stay in your house. Don't go anywhere. Like, I'm just in my car. I'm not getting out anywhere. That's another thing. Second year on YouTube, started to get a little bit more haters, a little bit more uh, comments on my videos that may not be nice but I don't really care, you know, you, you guys can uh, put whatever you want, but I'm, I'm gonna put how I feel back to you. So if you can't handle what I say back, then you probably shouldn't put something there in the first place. And about two months or so after everything closed down in Orlando, the theme parks, um, Universal City Walk and Disney Springs did open back up to the public. Uh, when they did, it was, was kind of weird, like not everything there was open, but I was able to go to both those openings for you guys and film everything to document what it's going to be like for you guys wearing a mask, um, social distancing, because this was kind of like the first time we've seen the theme park utilize these new rules. Here we see required for entry, face coverings, temperature screening, and physical distancing. And I passed the temperature screening and we are back, back at Disney Springs, back like we never left. We are back. It's very strange. Very strange to be back over here. Everyone is wearing a mask. There's signs everywhere telling you about the situation, what you need to do. Everyone needs to wear a mask or you will be asked to leave and you will not even be allowed to be in here. And then eventually when the theme parks did open up, I was able to go for you guys. I wasn't there the very first day when Universal opened up, but for Magic Kingdom, I was there for a special preview. Uh, before it officially opened to regular guests. I was there for the Magic Kingdom and I did the Animal Kingdom for those special previews for you guys. And you guys showed a lot of support on the Magic Kingdom video and the Animal Kingdom video. I think the Magic Kingdom video was probably my biggest video this year. Guys, we are officially back in the Magic Kingdom. It's very weird to be back here. Four months that this place has been closed. By far the longest time any Disney park has ever been closed before. 
today is not the official opening day uh this is a special preview but in just a few days this place will open completely to the public and here we go our first walk down main street usa this is very strange very strange to be back but it's awesome to be back it's definitely special being able to be one of the first people welcome back to the magic kingdom after everything shut down and it was very very strange uh the park was completely empty. Everything was a walk on Space Mountain five minutes, Mine Train five minutes. I'd be walking down some streets and there'd be nobody there. It was very, very strange. And also around this time, um, I actually took a picture of the Cinderella Castle with the new paint. And this was like the first picture people had really seen up close of the castle with the new paint. And this picture went viral all over the internet. I got like thousands of likes on uh, Twitter. I got a lot of likes on Instagram. People Magazine and MSN featured my video and my picture on their website. And uh, that, was, that was a pretty cool time for me. A couple of my favorite videos from this year actually were these videos that I did detailing the backstory and secrets of certain lands. And I started them at Animal Kingdom. I wanna get back into these went deep into like the backstory and secrets and I gave you a detailed tour of Harambe and Pandora over at Disney Animal Kingdom. Um, Harambe, if you didn't know, is my favorite land in really any Disney park. I love that land so much. Trading goods right here. And just on the other side of all that, we see another sign that says, Welcome to Harambe, Port of East Africa. And it actually gives us a little description of everything that's here, kind of inviting you here. Since Harambe is a port town, it's also kind of like a touristy little town. So we got marketplaces, we got hotels, we've got a safari trip. So if you know me, you know that I love basketball. I love the NBA. And so it was really special to have the NBA at Walt Disney World to finish out the remainder of their season and the playoffs. And I really enjoyed going around Walt Disney World and showing you guys where the players are staying, where they're hanging out, the NBA lounges, all sorts of different things. Um, I explained to you kind of like what the rules were for the NBA bubble. And then eventually when the players left, I went over to the main hub, the Grand Destino Tower, and showed you like, this is where LeBron James was staying. This is where the players were hanging out at nighttime. This is where they're eating. That was really cool for me. And I did buy a whole bunch of Disney NBA merch because most likely that is never going to happen again and i felt i felt pretty special being able to be there at disney world while the whole entire nba pretty much the whole entire nba was there you would be able to see players like lebron james and anthony davis coming over here hanging out having some breakfast or lunch dinner whatever it was and maybe their families would come over here as well and you would see people like rachel nichols and malika andrews reporting live from over here for ESPN, ABC, with additions. This just opened up last summer. So the NBA players had it real nice over here. I don't know about compared to where they usually stay, but for Disney Resort, this place is really nice. Overall, I would say that it was a successful year for me here on YouTube in 2020. Of course, I didn't put out the amount of content that I did in 2019. In 2019, I put out almost 150 videos. This year, I put out 86 videos. So almost half the amount that I did last year in 2019, but I still did gain almost two and a half thousand subscribers. So thank you all. Um, if you subscribed to me last year, thank you. If you subscribed to me last week, thank you very much. And I'm really looking forward to how we're going to do this in 2021. I'm trying to put out a lot of videos. I'm trying to do really cool content for you guys. Hopefully I'll be able to travel um, and show you guys other places besides Orlando if this whole coronavirus thing kind of calms down and whatnot and of course walt disney world is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year so that's going to be really cool i was actually at disneyland um for its 50th anniversary but now i'm going to be there at walt disney world celebrating its 50th anniversary so i hope you guys are ready i'm excited for 2021 i'm excited to put 2020 in the past i want to thank you all for sticking with me during this year when i really wasn't uploading i didn't upload for two months straight so i'm surprised a lot of you guys didn't just bounce and leave um so thank you all for sticking with me we're gonna do 2021 great like i said and it's gonna be really fun i hope you had a safe and happy holidays merry christmas happy kwanzaa happy hanukkah whatever you celebrated and I hope you have a safe and happy new year and i'll see you in 2021